All right, adventurers. Welcome to All Play. We're here with more of the Pokemon Soul Silver Nuzlocke. All right. I in between the last episode and this episode, many many moons have passed. But uh, what I did was I flew to Ikrutik City because that's the next city we need to leave out from. If we take a look at our map, hang on, Perry, how you feeling? Oh, okay, okay. Thought something was wrong. He's staring straight at me. All right. Uh, let's take a look at our map and we can figure out what uh, we're not getting bonus password today, even though that song is hot. Uh, we're going to leave out of Akrutik City and we're going to head east. All right. So we're going to head to Route 42, a new route, a new encounter, a new chance to catch something. All right. Hopefully we catch something that's not going to try and murder us. How you guys doing today? Everything going all right with you? Mount Mortar is like a maze inside. Be careful. Don't get lost in there. All right, I'll try my best to not get lost in Mount Mortar. Can I please? Can I please? Hey, look at that. We got a, an item here. TM-74. Glare. Glare is a lovely, a lovely attack. Glare inflicts paralysis, I believe. Let's see. Glare, 74. Oh, 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 there we go. Yes. Uh, it cause it uses uh, paralysis or inflicts paralysis. Who can learn this? Dawn, Perry, and Echo and Scavenger. Wow, a lot of y'all have scary bellies. Glare's a move supposed to be used by um, Arbok. Uh oh. Okay. Oh boy. Sorry that I bumped into you. Did I hurt you? Please don't cry. Here, take this. We got HMO four. We got HMO4. That's pretty good. It's strength. It allows a Pokemon to learn a move called strength and using the move boulders out the way. Um, I believe we're not allowed to use it unless we have the badge from, what's the island? Uh, the, the island that we did a while ago. We, we have the badge is, is what I'm getting at. We, need, we should need it in here in Mount Mortar. Not entirely sure. All right. Please don't. Please, please don't do this to us today. Let's see, there's a water, and there's a, a cave. Can we can we water? No, we can't water. Oh, here's an encounter. Who we got? Who we got? Rattata. Rattata. If you guys remember, I told you about a rule called a dupes clause, or a duplication clause. Uh, that rule basically says that if we run into a Pokemon as our encounter that we already have on the team that we already caught, uh, we can bypass this one and go to the next. We can do that until we run to something that we have not seen. I'm sorry, that we have not caught as our first, first Pokemon. And uh, we have a Rattata. We remember Scavenger. Scavenger is still on the team. We remember Scav. All right. So that's, that didn't count. That was that was a mess up. The game messed up. Who we got this time? A horsey. A horsey on the team. How about that? How about that? All right, we can't fight it. We will, we will murderize if we fight it. How about a great ball for Horsey? How about a great ball for Horsey? Yeah, yo! we got a Horsey. We already got a Water type, but Horsey does evolve eventually into a Dragon type. So, so that'd be pretty dope to have Horsey on the team. Horsey, the Dragon Pokemon. It's big, developed fins move rapidly, allowing it to swim backward while still facing forward. That's pretty dope. That's pretty dope. All right, um, um, Horsey, let's give Horsey a nickname. Let's give Horsey a nickname. We're going to call this one. I don't believe I've ever named a Pokemon this in, in our Nuzlocke series. Tyrant. Tyrant the Horsey. And, of course, it's in the wrong box. Of course, that's how it works, right? They always get sent to the wrong box. Okay, so we've got our encounter for this uh, for this area. That means we need the GTFO, and of course I'm going the wrong way. I have no idea how to navigate Mount Mortar. I think I've really only navigated it twice in my life. Here's what's weird about Gen Two, Gen Two, and in, in the Gen Four remakes. As much as I say that these are my favorite games in the Pokemon series, as much as I say I love Gen Two and Gen Four's remakes. I've only played both of them once. Not counting, not counting this. I've only played them both once. 
I once had Gold Version back in the days of yore. And Gold Version links up with Gen 1 with uh, Pokemon Red, Pokemon Blue, and Pokemon Yellow. I traded my team from Red and Blue. I'm sorry, I, from what I have, Blue Version? I traded my team from Blue Version into my Gold Version cartridge. Meryl's here. We could add a Meryl. Meryl would have been pretty dope. I'm not going to lie. Uh, I traded my team from Pokemon Blue into Pokemon Gold. And when I did that, I had... You got to remember, back then, we we played super competitively, competitively, I should say. Am I not supposed to go to Mount Mortar? I don't think I was supposed to go to Mount Mortar. I think I could have just served. <laughs> okay, so we get a chance for another encounter. We played super competitively for some, what, nine, ten-year-olds. Uh, so I had a really strong team. And then when I traded that team over to Pokemon Gold, of course, I didn't want to restart Gold because I had this amazing team. Our encounter is going to be something in the water. A star you. All right, we can get us a star you. Uh, I, had a, I had a super competitive team on Gold. I didn't want to restart my team. I didn't want to restart the game and lose my team. So I never did. I never, ever did. And then the, uh, when I got to Gold version, I'm sorry, Heart Gold, once again, I traded my team from, not only from Fire Red, I'm sorry, I Leaf Green. Not only from Leaf Green, but also the Pokemon from Pokemon Coliseum. They were super trained because, remember, I beat Coliseum and I got the special Pokemon at the end. I beat Coliseum 100%. Give me a second. Here's Star You, the star-shaped Pokemon. Even if its body is torn, it can regenerate as long as the glowing central core remains intact. All right, that's pretty cool. This star you, we're gonna name it. This is Regen. Regen the star you. Pretty dope. Uh, I had my team from Leaf Green as well as. Uh, what was it? As well as Coliseum. So naturally, I did not want to reset my, my game to start over my team. A Flame Plate. That's pretty cool. You can give that to a Pokemon and it will uh, raise fire moves just like Charcoal. And also with certain Pokemon, it will make them fire type. We can't get in there. I don't want to teach any of these clowns cut. So when I say I've only played... When I say this is my third time playing uh, a Gen 4 game, I mean that. Uh, a, a, a Gen 2 game or a Gen 4 remake. I mean that. This is, uh, this is literally the third time. So I don't remember everything about this. It, it, for it to be my favorite, I know the least about Gen 2 and Gen 4. We're going to go ahead and say that. Uh, Mount Mortar. All right, let's see. Can we bite? Well, I guess not. It might be a double battle, so let's see. Let's set you guys up. Everybody's at level 33 except Perry, who's at level 36. Let's set you guys up for success. How about we put Victoria up front to run with Perry? All right, here we go. Is this going to be a double or is it just one? Hey, this is my secret place. Get lost, you outsider. Nope, it's just a single battle. All right, fine with me. Fine with me. It's okay. He has a shield on Curtis. It's level 17. Hold up, Famalam. They need to get these levels together. I'm going to need I'm gonna need this Nuzlocke run, this randomized run to get these levels together. Here's an Aqua Jet. Here's an Aqua Jet. Hold this jet for me, fam. Yeah, yo. Uh, shield off, I'm not mistaken, it's part rock, part steel. I could be entirely wrong with that. I know it's a fossil. A uh, lombre. Lombre. Uh, Dawn, I'm sorry, Scav, you know flying. <laughs> you know flying. Go ahead, Scav. You got this one. Come on. All right. Catch it with that fly, son. Ooh, fake out. And, of course, we're going to flinch, right? Yeah. Fake out if you use it on the first turn that the Pokemon is in battle. It works 100% and uh, other Pokemon flinches. Good work. Hey, when you're flying, Raticate dodges an earthquake. It's pretty good. All right, good work, team. Team Snaps and Clouds coming through, y'all. All right, let's see if we can walk around this man. Oh, no, we can't skip him. He turned just in time. I think that's one of the only things about Gen 4 that I hate. They do that. If it's a battle that 
If it's a battle that the developers want you to have, you will have this battle. Like, we couldn't dodge this man. There was no chance that we would dodge him because he turned the very second that we passed by, or we tried to pass by him. What's the other side of Mount Mortar like, do you know? If you can beat me, I'll let you know. So he's not going to let us pass unless we can beat him in this fight. It's a hiker. It's Hiker Benj. Hiker Benjamin. Oh, he has a why not. He has a why not. I'm scared of the why not family. Just so you, I'm like legitimately scared of them after learning how dangerous they really are. Good work. He's out of here. If a Wobble Pet comes up, I'm, I'm going to lose my mind. I'm going to lose my mind. Here's Combuskin. Uh, stay out there, Perry. You got this. You got this. Yeah. Uh, catch it with a Aqua Jet. An Aqua Jet. Excuse me. This level 17 business, I don't think I'm a fan of it. Why are there level 17 operatives this, this late in the game? Here's a Larvitar. Waste it with the Surf. I think we could have Metal Clawed and we would have been fine too. Well, Perry just one-shotted the entire team. All right, what's on the other side? Tell me. I said a pretty boastful lie. I'm sorry. There's this huge waterfall on the way, so I've never been on the other side of Mount Mortar. Oh, he means not on the other side, like, in the direction that I'm facing right now. He means on the other side, like, that way. Oh, he's a, he's a clown. He's a clown. But we made it into the next city, Mahogany Town. It's pretty dope. Check out Mahogany Town. Oh, there's the gym. And there's this stuff. And there's that thing. All right, we're getting into the Pokemon Center. And then we're going to investigate a little bit here in Mahogany Town. Let's heal up. Nobody needs to heal, really. But I'm going to heal up just so the game recognizes that we've been here. So in the event that we need to leave. By the way, I think we do. We need to go get the uh, the balls from Kurt. We'll probably leave and come right back with the balls, all right? That would be something we can do. <sighs> Eventually, I'm going to get used to the idea of go pick up the Pokeballs every episode, all right? Pick up the beginning of every session, I should say. All right, here's what we're going to do. We're going to fly from here. We're going to fly from here and take off, and then when we come back, we'll have the balls from Kurt, because now we can fly back here, right? I believe we can fly back. I hope we can fly back, all right? That, that's that's going to be it. That's what we're going to do. Give me, give me just several seconds, all right? Several seconds. All right, Scav, your wings must be tired. Go ahead and take a break. Take a break. We're good now. We got, uh, they were lure balls, I believe. Uh, where are they? Yes, we got, it was one lure ball. Uh, we got one lure ball from Kurt. They work best when you're catching a Pokemon that you encountered by fishing. So, that's what we, well, that's what we'll save the lure ball for. All right, so this is the gym here. Let's talk to this man and see why he won't move. Have you seen this guy with a black cape? He has been going back and forth between here and the Lake of Range, saying strange radio waves are being transmitted. Who is he, I wonder? Man with a black cape. What? All right, let's go in this house. I heard that a red Gyarados appeared at the Lake of Rage. That's odd, since even ordinary Gyarados are rare in that lake. A red Gyarados, what does that mean? Is that code for something? My top radio show? I'd say Pokemon music. Alright. We're getting the hell out of here. Y'all are weird. Y'all are weird. Let's go in this building. Talk to this man. Hey, hey. The experiment worked like a charm. Magic Carp is just worthless. But Gyarados are big money makers. Why are y'all talking about uh, uh, Magic Carp and Gyarados so much? Huh? You hear wind blowing into this room? That is just me whistling enough about that why don't you buy something all right what you got tiny mushrooms and pokeballs and potion that's all y'all got y'all don't even have um a pokemart in this store do you and i can't even look in the trash or not in this store in this town i mean y'all are a small town y'all are a very small town i don't think i don't think i like it all right let's head oh let's see why we let's 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 talk to this man Hey, you kid. 
I see you're new to Moggy Town. Since you're new, you should try a yummy Rage candy bar. Right now, it can be yours for just $300. Want one? Sure. I mean, mom blows our money on junk we don't need. Why can't we blow our money on junk we don't need? Here's a Rage candy bar for your soul. It's a key item. I remember a person from as far as Kanto came to buy one a long time ago. I have to have none in stock then. That person left rather upset. Felt kind of sorry for that. Oh, Erwin wants to talk. I don't want to talk to Erwin. Let's look at the Rage candy bar. If it's a key item, that means it's in the key item slot. Uh, it's a famous candy in Mahogany Town. What can I do with it? I can't do nothing with it. I can't do nothing with a Rage candy bar. Fine, we're out. I don't want to upset you after buying one from me, but buying a Rage candy bar has nothing to do with whether I'd allow you to pass through here. Jodo has many places to visit, such as the lighthouse at Olivine and the pharmacy in Cyanwood. Why don't you slow down and enjoy sightseeing? All right, I guess we're doing some sightseeing today. We've seen every sight within the city, though. So let's go ahead and head north. Do we have Pokeballs? If not, I need to go buy some Pokeballs. I am buying it from this podunk-ass town, though. Uh, Ultra Balls, Heavy Ball. We should be okay. I mean, everything we've been running into is level 17. We shouldn't have a problem here. Let's go ahead and head north. I heard that you can find a red scale occasionally. Speaking of which, I know a person who'd appreciate a red scale. Who? I can't remember. Thanks. Thanks, man. Thanks, guy. Thanks, thanks, Coolio. Oh, this is a trainer. I thought this was a man just standing. I can do so much with my Pokemon. It's super fun. All right. All right. Here we go. He's got a meow. It's level 18. We've got a parry. It's not level 18. Get this metal claw. Fake out. Y'all love y'all some fake out. It does zero things. It does zero things, but y'all love y'all some fake out. Come on. Hey. Good work. Ooh, that attack rose. Come on. Bastiodon. We're keeping uh we keep a good old parry out. Bastiodon is the evolved form of that shield dawn that we ran into a little while ago. Here's an aqua jet. Hold this aqua jet for me. All right. Who else wants it? Give it out for free. Starly. Starly is a bird. Nobody has a rock move, do they? Nobody has a rock move. I know we don't have an electric move on the team. Wow. I know I love throwing rocks at birds. In video games, when I'm playing Pokemon, I love throwing rocks at birds. Don't take that the wrong way. Don't take that the wrong way. Here's a surf. Hold this surf for me, fam. Come on. All right. All right. Starly is in and out. Good work, Perry. Losing isn't fun at all. You're damn right. Let's see. All Pokemon have pros and cons depending on their types. If their types differ, even a higher level Pokemon may lose in battle. Learn which types are strong or weak against your Pokemon's type. That's entirely true. That's entirely true. Just because you have a high level does not mean you will win this battle. This is very possible for you to lose. This is a different route, Route 43, so we're going to have an encounter here. What are we going to see? What are we going to see? Come on. Come on. Unknown. Yes. I have never, ever, ever in a Nuzlocke caught an unknown, as far as I can remember. <laughs> as far as I can remember, I've never caught an unknown. And unknown is pretty cool. I like unknown because of the fact that it has I'm trying oh I guess I don't have to hit the buttons the left or right okay uh, unknown has different letters it, it has different forms 28 different forms in this game they're based on the alphabet were they the Roman alphabet or the Greek alphabet uh, I think I want to say Roman the Roman letters uh, you know A B C D and all those as well as the exclamation point symbol and the question mark symbol they are so cool looking all of them are so cool looking uh, by the way, we caught our nose. Uh, it's the symbol Pokemon. Its flat, thin body is always stuck on walls. Its shape appears to have some meaning. This is the A unknown. That's pretty dope. That's pretty dope. We have to we have to name it. This one is. Come on. 
This is Alpha. We have to call it Alpha. He's in the wrong box. I'll fix that. I'll fix that. I'll fix it. Everything. All right. We can fix this. They are so cool. I used to, when I played Gen 2, I used to, ooh, Cag Turner here. Cag Turner would have been dope. Uh, I used to collect all the unknown. I tried to catch every single letter. It's actually pretty hard. It, it's easy at the start and, uh, and hard at the end. Oh, great. We're having this situation again. <sighs> Fine. Give me a sec. Give me a second. How about this? All right. There we go. Fine. Fixed. Oh, we can bypass them. We can get past here. We kind of don't really have to do any more battles. Because, I mean, we've made everything that we need. I and mean, we made to the level that we need to make it to. This is the fishing guru's house. Aside from the roaming Pokemon, we haven't we haven't met a Pokemon yet that we've been ridiculously underleveled to fight. The Lake of Rage is actually a crater made by Rampage and Gyarados. The crater fills up with rainwater, and the lake was formed. That's the story passed on from my grandpa's great great grandpa. It used to be that you could catch a lively Magikarp there, but I don't understand what's happening. What do you mean? What mean you? What are you talking about? Let's talk to this woman. Did my eyes deceive me? I saw a red Gyarados in the Lake of Rage. But I thought Gyarados were usually blue. They are. So it's very weird that y'all are mentioning a red Gyarados. Oh, sweet baby Jesus. Is that a red Gyarados? That looks like that could be a red Gyarados. The Gyarados are angry. That's a bad omen. All right. So the Lake of Rage is its own location. We can check it on the map. Lake of Rage is its own location, which means that we have an opportunity for another encounter. But I specifically want that red Gyarados or whatever. Yes, that's a red Gyarados. Or whatever it may be. Because remember, this is a randomizer. So what I'm going to do is save here. It makes me feel comfortable. It doesn't matter for a Nuzlocke, but it makes me feel comfortable. And then once I save, we're going to use a Repel and then head out into the ocean. Uh, Repel will make it so that until we get to that red Gyarados... We won't encounter anything, so we'll be safe. Whatever that is, we'll have the opportunity to catch it. All right, let's repel up. Just like you lawyer up, let's repel up. All right. So we have 100 stuffs. We're not going to use 100 stuffs to get to that Gyarados. Come on, Perry. All right. All right, guys. What could it be? What could it be here in this lake of rage? Let's talk to it. How, how do I talk to it? There we go. All right. What is it? Yo, it's a shiny soul rock. What I didn't realize, what I did not realize was it's going to be shiny. I thought that was a, for some reason, I thought like it was programmed in that this has to be a, a, a red Gyarados when in fact the red Gyarados is shiny. <laughs> okay. It's a shiny soul rock. I didn't need a repel. If we would have encountered anything and then encountered this, we would have had the opportunity to catch it with a shiny cloth. Uh, if you run into a shiny in the wild, you have the opportunity to catch it. Regardless, we have to catch this. We have to catch this. Let's see if we can blow. What is, the, is it fastball or quick ball? Okay, fastball means the Pokemon has to be fast. Quick ball means you have to do it on the first turn for it to be most effective. We have heavy balls to spare. Let's try it because Soul Rock is a floating rock. I believe it should be heavy. Come on. It's going to escape, of course. All right. It's fine. Rock throw. Oh, no. We're part steel. We actually have to be wary about a, a rock throw. Come on. We're not going to kill this thing. How about we... Can we bide it up? Can this thing learn a text that can myrtleize Perry? I don't think so. Let's bite it up. All right, Perry. Come on, buddy. Rock throw. It's okay. It's okay. We can't hit it with water type attacks because it's not only rock type, but it's raining, so our, our water type attacks will be much stronger. Okay, that's fine. We only hit it with one attack. That's okay. Its speed is up. All right, Perry. Yeah, Bob's not going to do too much. Oh, fire spin. That's kind of crazy. That's kind of crazy. Okay, we can't switch out now. 
How much is fire fire spin gonna do each turn? Okay, it's gonna do a good amount. I'm gonna bite it up again. Because it should actually deal enough to where we make a huge dent on Soul Rock, but not kill it. Come on. Fire spin. Alright. You got this, Perry. You got this. Fire spin. Hey, oh, you can't do fire spin twice. You clown. Come on. Alright, after this, I'm going to heal Perry up. He's getting to the midpoint. Damn, it still didn't do too much. Alright, we're going to heal Perry here. Come on. Come on. I've seen those fire spin, rock polish, rock throw. And there's one of the move we haven't seen yet. Come on. He actually has a very good move set. I need this soul rock on my team. Not gonna lie. I need this soul rock. He has a very decent move set. I'm proud of this. It's very diverse. Y'all know, I, I don't care so much for the moves. Which ones exactly I care more for their diversity. If they're a diverse set of moves, then I'm, I'm all for it. Come on. Come on. Damn. Damn. Side wave is the last attack. Yes. Did we need Solrock on this team, boy? That was a hard hit. Um, if if we take two side waves and then bite it up, that's gonna kill this thing. We can't use any other attack. So let's see, who will be fine? Smells can't be hit by side wave, right? And then it was rock polish, rock throw, and fire spin. Who's got who's got the best defense? Don's oh Don could be killed by that uh that fire spin though. I'm sorry, that sideway. Damn, this is actually pretty hard. I want this thing on my team. Echo, Echo's health is so low. I'm si I'm scared to send Echo and Scavenger out at all, really. Damn, it looks like we just keep Perry. I'm so scared. I'm so scared we're gonna kill this thing. I don't wanna kill this soul rock. I don't want to kill that at all. One, two, three. Yes! Oh, we got a shiny Soul Rock on the team. That makes me happy. That makes me happy, guys. All right, let's add it to the Pokedex. What's the Pokedex say about Soul Rock? <sighs> when it rotates itself, it gives off light similar to the sun. Thus blinding its foes. It's the meteorite Pokemon. All right. All right. So, Soul Rock. Soul Rock. This is. Oops. Why did I think that was a, a U? Uh, Soul Rock. This is Lucky the Soul Rock, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the team. We caught four Pokemon this, this episode, didn't we? I think we caught four. And we got a red scale. That's pretty dope. That's pretty dope. All right, let's go. We got what we came for. Kind of. This man. Who is this man? And why does he have a Pokemon beside him as well? That Red Gyarados wasn't acting right. As I feared, somebody must have forced it to evolve. Oh, yeah, it wasn't acting right, all right. Did you come here because of the wild tales? You're chill. I'm Lance, a trainer like you. I heard some rumbling, so I came to investigate. I saw the way you battled earlier, Chill. I can tell that you're a trainer with considerable skill. If you don't mind, could you help me investigate? Sure. Sure, we don't have anything else to do. Sure. Excellent. It seems that the Lake of Rage's Magikarp are being forced to evolve. In the Soul Rock! In the shiny Soul Rock! A mysterious radio broadcast coming from Mahogany is probably, called, uh, probably the cause. In that suspicious souvenir shop. Oh, the one that didn't sell stuff? The one that had nothing to sell except Pokeballs? 
Yeah, they probably probably has something to do with it. I'll be waiting for you in mahogany, chill. Check out his flying his, his flying Pokemon. That's pretty dope. It's not as cool as our flying Pokemon. Let's go ahead and fly back to the lovely mahogany town. We're actually going to wrap it up there. It's a beautiful place to wrap it up today. It's doing this again. It's doing this again. I hope it fixes itself. Nope. Didn't fix itself. Okay, guys, if you enjoyed this episode and would love to see more, then all you have to do is hit that red button below this video. Now, that's that subscribe button. And I'll do my best to make sure you guys can see more episodes of games like Pokemon Soul Silver, more challenges like a randomized Nuzlocke run, as well as everything else that All Play has to offer. Thank you guys for checking this out, and I'll catch you later with more here on All Play. I don't know why it does this. I don't know why. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs>